Genesis chapter 2. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their host were finished. And on the seventh day God finished his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, when Jehovah God made earth and heaven. And no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up. For Jehovah God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to work the ground. But a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Jehovah God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And Jehovah God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground Jehovah God caused to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, as well as the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river went forth from Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided and became four branches. The name of the first is Pishon. It is the one that goes around the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Delium and onyx stone are there. And the name of the second river is Gion. It is the one that goes around the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Hittichel. It is the one that goes east of Ashur. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And Jehovah God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and to keep it. And Jehovah God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may eat freely, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, of it you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And Jehovah God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper as his counterpart. Now Jehovah God had formed from the ground every animal of the field and every bird of heaven. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called any living animal, that was its name. And the man gave names to all cattle, and to the birds of heaven, and to every animal of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper as his counterpart. And Jehovah God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh in its place. And Jehovah God built the rib which he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, This time this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, because out of the man this one was taken. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And both the man and his wife were naked, and were not ashamed before each other.